Hey YouTube, this is your girl Avery, and as you can see, I'm all alone today. No money and no dress. Boy, if you don't. I am actually here today to do a review on the Andes hair dryer that I got off Amazon. I finally used it last night. I got it like a week ago, and I am going to do a review on it today. Excuse the oiliness, you know, it's Sunday and I've been to church, you know, well, a virtual church and we, had, we it was an anointed oil service and that's why I'm full of oil. So, matter of fact, don't excuse it. I'm anointed. Anyway, um, this is the package that it came in. This is the box that it comes in and this hair dryer. And as you can see, it has the bonnet. It has the hose hooked up to the actual dryer and it actually has a carry in carry on case however what you want to call it it has a case so let me go ahead and unbox it let me give you a close-up view of it on the box there you go so this is the andes hair dryer that everyone's been talking about and this is how it comes it is look how i see i need your charger yes quickly this is how it comes Sorry, the phone is dying. If it cuts off, I'm just going to do the video. Pardon me? So, yes, it's like a carry-on. You can carry this. This is a traveling pack, basically. It came in. And it's pretty cool. So, it has this handle you can hold, however. And then, in the front yard, yeah, I like the A because my name starts with the A. So, I'll pretend that this, that means Avery. I'm vain like that. But it's actually a main and this. And I just wanted to say, it has a, oh, okay. So, let me show you, the, uh, uh, this thing is hard to get. Okay, okay. so okay. let me open it. Uh, this is how it looks. You don't need to see my face for this. This is how it looks inside. It comes with the bonnet. It has a slot for the bonnet. It has a slot for the plug. It has an area to hold the actual 40 inch holes. Look at that. There's some holes in this. Oh, that's came from church. But it has a 40 inch holes. Oh, so actually, it all fits right in here. And this is the actual dry up. Like I said, this is a carry on traveling kind of pack thing. There you go. This is the Anders hair dryer. And I saw a lot of reviews that, ow, ah, my finger smashing it. Be careful with this closing. Be careful with this closing. Excuse my hairstyle. I um dyed it natural black last night. And this is actually dead also. My laptop is dead. So if you plug it in there, everything will die. And this is my ponytails that I have in right now. So let's go. Let's pull out the bonnet first. I saw a lot of reviews saying that the bonnet is extremely small. Um, I have dreadlocks almost to... Uh, my hip area and a lot of people say the bonnet is too small it doesn't fit over curlers i haven't tried over curlers yet but i have a lot of hair and for me this bonnet is actually oh uh, you're trying to hook up to the plug so let's turn away the bonnet is actually a good size so let me put it on this is the size of the bonnet here it comes with the little holes on the side it comes with a drawstring to make it tighter, but I didn't even use that last night because I have a big head, so I don't need it. This is a perfect fit for me. I love the material of the bonnet. I love, love, love it, love it. It feels durable. I see a lot of people have their own patch up with duct tape. I hope that doesn't happen to me. But I also noticed their box was actually gold and black. So let me put this bonnet over my locks. As you can see, my hair, I have a lot of hair. And I have it plaque. And they say it's too small. But for me, I don't think so. I could just put my hair right up in it. And it fits perfectly over my head. For me, it fits perfectly. And I think if I put in my um, perm rods that it would still actually fit. So, there is the 40 inch holes that we have. <laughs> Yes, hose, H-O-S-E. This is the 40-inch hose that we have, right? And in the back here on the bonnet, this is where you actually plug in the hose. 
goes right here. It has two clips that it actually hooks on. And then it turns 360 also, but you don't need to turn it unless you your bonnet is backwards like this. And however, but anyhow, you actually plug this right into here and you'll hear a snap. There you go. And that means it's in. There you go. Now, when I first got this and I plugged this in, it took me three hours to find out how to actually get this out. I didn't want to break it or anything like this. So when you buy this, if you do buy it, if you do buy this product and you are concerned after you plug it in, you can't get it out, it can actually come out in one of the most easiest ways and the way that you think it will be broken, that's the way you actually pull it out. So to take this bonnet off of this, hold the black piece right here, part of the hose, please don't pull it from here, hold the black piece right here. Oh my God! Wow! And it just snaps right out. Like, seriously, it took me three hours to actually figure that out. Three and, hours later. And I didn't figure it out on my own. I had to watch a tutorial. And uh, I think the child was like nine years old. Had to pull it out because everybody else owned. They just was cut it off. I guess they took it off afterwards. But anyhow, yes. And in here. Oh, sorry. Kind of messy day. In here, there is a plug. There is a plug. Compartment for the plug. One for the bonnet right there there you go one for the plug then you got the controls low high off and low on this side on the left side and on this side you have hot and warm we're going to discuss that later hot. Oh. i swear to when this video is going to cost me break up this thing be careful with this okay so this is the plug right here and what i'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in so that you can hear it. So, Trey Day, do the honors, even though he's not part of this video. Do the honors. <laughs> so, he actually has it plugged in. Let me move a bit closer so you can see what button I'm clicking. I don't have the bonnet plug into it. I'm just going to leave it hanging, however. Now, when you turn this on, you don't want this to be down at all or... It didn't happen to me, but I know this could happen. You don't have this down, or you don't have this, the holes here, covered at, or nothing because it's going to overheat and it's going to shut off. And you don't want that. And it will take probably like five to ten minutes for it to actually come back on. These are my natural eyebrows, actually, and they're not shaved or anything like that. You see the natural cut? I don't have to. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to start with hot, and I'm going to put it on high. When you put it on high, it's kind of loud, which I didn't really like of it. So let's hear it. It's kind of loud, not too, too, too loud. It's kind of loud. So that is hot and that is high. So let's put it on hot and low. So low is just click way to the bottom. You see the difference in the sound. Now, when it's on hot and high, I mean, it could get extremely, extremely hot. I noticed when I bought this off of Amazon, it actually showed like the clear shower caps you could buy also. I guess you could put that on before you put the bonnet and that should help with the heat. But I didn't get that. Um, I just had my hair down sometimes, up sometimes, and when the heat became unbearable for me, I just would turn it off a couple minutes or I would actually just um, put it on warm for a minute. Now, it's on low now, do you see how the sound decreased a lot when it's on hot and low. It still dries your hair. I have dreadlocks. It took my dreadlocks literally five hours with this to dry. If I don't use um, if I don't use a dryer at all, it would take literally a week for my dreadlocks to dry. Even after I squeeze out every piece of water, I could squeeze out. It will take a week to dry without a hair dryer. And with this hair dryer, particular hair dryer, it took five hours to dry. So this is this is actually on hot and low heat. So let's go to warm, warm and high heat. Warm and um, it's on high now. Now with the warm and high, it still feels it feels like cold air is blowing. I don't like it. it doesn't feel like it's doing anything for my hair and my hair is thick. So it, that wasn't for me. Warm and high wasn't for me. It felt cool. And so imagine putting on warm and low. 
feel like um, a cold front is on top of your hair. They must have just take out that option, a warm option, and put hot and cold because the warm, no, it's not working. It's not working. Take it out, Anders. Anyway, um, Anders is actually a good brand. Anders has hair clippers. They have hair tools, accessories for barbers, whoever. And I also saw on their website, that, on, on their website, <laughs> I saw on their website, that, <laughs> I said again, I saw on their website that they actually have a barbering school, however, um, I guess if you want to do that, however, however, I guess, I don't know how that goes, but yes, that is it, um, the pros about this is that it's very convenient, it's very, like, you can take it around wherever you need to go, that's one of the pros for me, um, it, it actually dries the hair that's what it's supposed to do it actually dries the hair and I have dreadlocks so anybody with perm here or whatever I think it will dry your hair probably in an hour 30 minutes to an hour it will be quick on your hair but my hair is, I have dreads so it took 5 hours um, I can turn this off now I can turn this off now um, I love the material on the bonnet I really 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 love it I also love how the bonnet blows up when it's um, so I can know that the hose is actually working. And in this bonnet, in this bonnet, it actually has mini holes. As you can see, it actually has mini holes where the heat comes from. So it's not just making the bonnet hot and then that's it. It actually has holes inside where the heat passes through. Now, this is, and I'm rating this out of a 10, right? Now, my thing, when you have the hose the system on hot it feels like the hose is gonna melt that's how it felt when i was using it like it's gonna melt and it didn't melt at all when i turn it off the hose fell the material fell right back to normal hard kind of hard kind of soft but it was back to normal it didn't melt or anything at all i see people saying it was so hot the hose pop off from wherever but i didn't have that experience so far so good now, the cons about this for me is, the cons about this for me, as I mentioned, the warm air feels cold. Um, what else? That's not, that's one. The hose feel like it's going to melt when you put it on high heat. The high heat, the high heat is actually extremely hot. If you could deal with um, high heat or uh, hot on your, heat on your head, that is actually um what i'm trying to say is extremely hot they need to name the hot part extremely hot and they need to name, name the cold the warm part extremely cold that's what it needs to name because it was it, it was extremely hot and i saw that in another review but like i say i did i i had it on hot for like an hour and then i turn it off then i put it back on again my hair to break also let my hair down under the bonnet and i make sure like how I have my edges shaved like that, I make sure I cover it with my hair and it helps a bit. So I think with the clear plastic cap, like the shower cap, I think the best bet is to get that before. So you can put that, then the bonnet. What else is the corn? The corn of this is me t taking three hours to figure out how to pull the, the actual bonnet off the hose. That was a... Uh, uh, Make it straightforward. Make it straightforward. Show it on the instructions. I don't know. I read instructions, but I didn't remember seeing how to remove this or anything like that. Um, when you're using this, always make sure I put a towel on, just like you like you sitting on a regular hair dryer. Because if you put this on hot, and this is kind of plastic material, when this hits your neck, oh, I was jumping all night. Even I had on a towel, and the towel was slipping off a little bit. I keep on jumping. Because this is extremely hot and inside here it feels like it's metal spring inside here. So always wear a towel when you use this. So I'm going to let Dre Day unplug it now because you heard it and everything like that. And I'm going to actually put it back in, in the compartment. That's good. They can't see. Uh -huh. So here we go. So I'm going to start by putting the hose back. I'm gonna start by putting the hose back, just wrap it around like so. 
wrap around like so. You got it. There you go. There you go. Perfect. 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 Then I'm going to go ahead and put the bonnet in. Let me show you how I wrap my bonnet back up. I make sure it's nice and flat. Nice and flat. And I just roll it just like so. Roll it up. Roll it up. If you roll a joint, you know how to roll good. I roll it up like this. And then I basically fold it like this, like so. And oh, try to smash my finger in this thing. Okay, then I just push it back right on the side here, like so. And it goes in easy, just like so. <laughs> All right, so next is the plug. Who is the plug? And this is the plug. But anyhow, I didn't give my, my, I didn't give my 10 out of 10 yet, which I don't think I would give a 10 out of 10. And I just wrap my plug regular, just like this. Wrap it down, and I push it in the hole like that. I push it in the hole like that. <laughs> just like that. Just like so. There we go. There we go. There we go. And it's back to normal. And all you got to do. You hear a little. I think I almost cracked it earlier. And there we go. Easy as that. Back. Pat. This handle is. Okay. This handle is crazy. Okay. And this. Yeah. That handle looks crazy. But there you go. That is my review on the Andes Bonnet Dryer. And I like it. I will give it actually a 8 out of 10. And it actually have a one-year warranty on this box. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. And I see person said after three uses, their um three uses, their machine was broken. However, so I used it last night for five hours. And I'm going to keep on using it. And if anything breaks on it in a short period of time, I will let you know. But I'm sure it won't because this seems very durable. Oh, I actually started to crack it inside. As you heard earlier when it went too far back, but that's my fault. That's not Anders' fault. But anyhow, it's very convenient. I love it. It's better than uh, sit under here dryer like the ones that you go to the hairdresser or the ones that you buy with the big bowl on top and you it, it, it have a hinge and you put it on top of it. Oh my God, I, I hate it. I hate hair dryers. Hate it. I only got this because me and Dre, they have something special coming up and I'm planning to do my own here. And we are going to reveal that secret in the next few months. We're not going to reveal a secret now. And no. I'm not pregnant. Don't even do it. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. This is the girl, Avery. Hmm. I wonder if I should start my own YouTube channel. Because I know y'all love me. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like. Remember to share with your friends and your family. Remember this is the girl, Avery. I know y'all are my biggest fans. Y'all love me, you know. I know how that is. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you all for watching. Peace out. Yeesh. Oh, shout out. Yeah, I did this myself. I did this. It's black on black. Love the thick ponytail. Anyhow, I saw that one. Smells so good. Review on my locks. Bye. Look how pretty I am.